Hi, Peter again. I'm here with Dan and Lewis, who are the filmmakers behind The Lake, which is just played today in our showcase sh sort of film showcase. I'll do it again. Hi, I'm Peter, film physical team, and I'm here with Dan and Lewis, who are the filmmakers behind The Lake, which is a short film that's just played at the festival today. How are you guys? We're good, we're good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank, thanks for having us. Yeah, we appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you. Very welcome. Um, so it's not actually the first time you've been to the festival with a film, is it? Can you tell us about previous times? Yeah, so we've been here uh, in 2019 mm -hmm. with our short film, The Eliminator, and then we was here previous in 2018 with our feature film, Alone. So this is our third time here at the festival now. So yeah, it's great to be back because we wanted to be here last year, but you know, because of COVID and that, it, it delayed some, some productions we had. So yeah, it's good to be back finally. So, good yeah. stuff. So The Lake, tell us about it. What's, what's the premise? So The Lake is mm -hmm. about uh, two filmmakers who, uh, the two filmmakers who go uh, who's looking for a location to create a, their next film, and they find a lake, which they think is like, uh, such an amazing set, it looks fantastic, so they decide to go do a bit of location scouting around that area, and then some strange stuff starts happening. How did you come up with the premise? Was it something one of you came up with? Uh, I know you work closely together. Yeah. How did that all work with yeah. you? Uh, actually, you came up with the original idea, didn't you? Yeah, ages ago, I had sort of like a feature film version of it. Mm -hmm. which has expanded a lot more than what the short film does but uh we it was we were when i was writing it the way that i wanted to do it was something that we could just literally do together because of mm -hmm. obviously what's going on in the world mm -hmm. with the pandemic yeah, we wanted to film something that we could just literally just be us two on set yeah okay. so i had this idea years ago about this lake where these it, originally in that version it, it was just a group of like teenagers or whatever going to the lake and then weird stuff starts happening. Mm -hmm. uh, so I decided let's sort of incorporate what, wh who we are as filmmakers mm. and now that we've got like you know we've got all the equipment that, that to actually film the film and we could, it, we could basically bring a lot of ourselves to the characters so it was a lot yeah. easier. Yeah. Right. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah also uh, yeah adding to that as well it, it really because of the pandemic and with everything that's happened it really was a case of me and Dan thinking, do you know what, we've, we haven't got a team of people, we've got no budget, we've got nothing, we've just got each other, so let's just go and make a film. And it was like, what can we actually achieve when me and, me and Dan just put our minds together and just go and make a movie? Um, you know what I mean? Just literally just go and do it. And, and I feel, we're, I'm proud really of what we achieved considering, you know, it was just like me and Dan on set literally doing every role yeah. possible. Because a lot um, of times, a lot of times, like when we <coughs> actually outside the pandemic when we're filming stuff obviously because we're filming on very low budgets uh, most of the time on absolutely nothing mm. it's hard to get loyal people like sometimes you'll cut like cast like your cast won't show up or your crew won't show up yeah but we know us two are very obviously dedicated we'll show up every day that we can yeah and uh so yeah i was like i don't want the stress especially during the pandemic i don't want the stress of trying to get people together making this like a big massive thing i just wanted to make it a small thing that mm. we could easily film together yeah and just to we because what we want to do we feel like this is a big stepping stone into something bigger that like for our careers mm. so we just wanted to do one big thing where we're like can we just do a film with just me and you mm. and that's it yeah because yeah. then yeah. going forward there'll be no excuse for us not to make a movie mm. yeah if it's just us two if we find ourselves in a situation where we're very limited or mm. You know, there's, you know, we can't get a team, a good team together, and it's just me and Dan, and we can go actually, you know, we've done this before, let's do it again. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah so it is that kind of self reliance, really, and and just um, creating something from nothing, and yeah, just getting something out there. So yeah. What was your biggest challenge making this film? Time. Yeah. Because we filmed yeah. it in one day. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the the final what two hours of filming. Mm. -hmm. Yeah, it was a, a rush. Yeah, losing yeah. light. light. Yeah, losing yeah. light. And um, yeah, we were just really tired. Obviously, juggling all the roles as well. You know, we didn't have a, a team to rely on. Mm. So towards the end of the shoot, we was getting very tired. And it literally was time. We was running out of time. And literally, I think towards the end of the shoot, it literally was a case of just one take sometimes. Yeah. You know, yeah. literally, it was just like, we've done the shot. Was it good enough yet? Right, let's move on. Did you shoot it chronologically? Um, yeah, we, yeah, we did actually, mostly. Most, most, most of it. Most of it. Most of it was, yeah, actually, yeah, it was. But obviously, like, without spoiling the film, but mm. 
mine and your character happens at a different time, but when we're in the same location, we do film the same thing. Like, yeah. Because okay. there's sometimes repeated shots, but then it's one one time it's Lewis's character, one time it's my character. Yeah. Yeah. And we did film that just basically back to back. Yeah. But it, it does like the way with our individual scenes, we did just do them yeah, chronological. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you guys have worked together for about ten years, I understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ten years. Yeah. Where did you meet? College, mm. wasn't it? We was, um, making films. Yeah, we was both on. Uh, we both studied uh, media production at Havering College at Ardy Green campus, which is nearby. Yeah. And um, yeah, we just become really good friends. I think we we related to each other in terms of our passion for filmmaking and wanting to tell stories, and and we just really clicked. And then I think we just sat there one day and thought, you know what, let's kind of make a little production company and just start making shorts. Mm. And then literally it just went from there, and it was just short after short after short, um, learning from our mistakes each time, mm. trying to improve. In all way, in every way possible, as filmmakers, and and you know, just just trying to learn our craft, really. Um, so yeah, really, everything we're uh, doing now is almost like a, it is like a ten-year journey, and we're still obviously improving and still learning. Um, but yeah, it's by no means been an overnight thing. It's been, you know, and there's been times as well where we've had really quiet periods, like you do, and there's times when we've had quiet periods and not really, you know, we've been thinking, you know, struggling to get things going or projects up and running and. You know, but um, we just kept at it. You know, there's also been plenty of projects where we've started it, actually done a few days filming, and then it never come about after that. Mm. Uh, so yeah, we've, we've been busy, but yeah. yeah, unfortunately, sometimes you do have these times where you need a little break from it all, especially yeah. because we do everything. And on that yeah. feature film, I remember we filmed oh, yeah. that over was it 12 days? Yeah, days. 12 days, 14 days. Yeah. Yeah. And because we were doing, again, basically everything on our own behind the scenes. We did have one other person to help with some of the lighting and some yeah. of the photography and stuff like that. But yeah. most of it was just us two on set doing yeah. everything yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, by the time we got to about midway, I had a, what they call a stress cold. And I felt it absolutely <laughs> yeah. incredibly ill yeah, it was for the yeah. last final week of film yeah. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Luckily, I came back for the reshoots that we did a bit further down the line. Luckily, I felt better for them. Yeah. But I think, just yeah, adding to that as well, I think it really is just a case of you know, taking opportunity, creating opportunity. It's not even about taking it; it's kind of just creating our own. We've we've created our own opportunities throughout most of our film career so far. And you know, when there's been times where, you know, we haven't been getting the budgets, we haven't been getting the opportunities, we've literally gone, well, what can we do about that? And we've just then thought, okay, we just figure something out and then go and make something and, and just make stuff happen. Um, and you know. That's what I would say to any filmmakers out there that are either watching this or you know, are making films currently is that you just have to be proactive in your approach. It's a very proactive, you have to just keep being proactive and, and making stuff happen rather than waiting for things to happen. And, that, and I mean? nowadays it's so easy to film something, to film a movie. Yeah. Um, every, like, every phone has a camera, anything, anything that you can film on, just yeah. do it. If you really yeah. want to do, be a filmmaker, mm. just go out there and do it. Uh, yeah. That's all I can really say. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever have disagreements, two of you, closely? Does it happen? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I was just trying to think of. I was trying to think of. Yeah, no, I was trying to think of an example where because yeah, we definitely hundred percent. I mean, you definitely don't work together for ten years and not have disagreements. Yeah, of course. Um, and also, we both have some in some ways we have similar tastes in film, and other ways we have very different tastes as well. There's stuff that Dan, there's stuff that like genres that Dan are into that I'm not into and stuff. Um, but I think when there has been differences, when we meet in the middle it usually ends up being for the best for the film we're working on. Okay. So Dan might want to go left, I might want to go right, but then when we actually meet in the middle, we end up creating something and, and overcoming mm. obstacles and actually ends up being better than if we'd have just gone with one of our own, like, you know what I mean? Gone left yeah. or right, go in the middle, it actually can be better. Um, that's the one thing I love about being in this partnership is the fact that I do feel like we bring the best out of each other. Yeah, 100%. And like, if, yeah, if, 100%. if we're doing something where we're like, oh, we think that's right, and then the other one's like, no. Yeah, we're not, we're not, yeah. <laughs> we're not, we're not sure how to, tell each other if something's wrong, which I think you need to be honest. Yeah. You know, if, 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 one of, if we send each other a script or if we're, you know, we're gonna be brutally honest about, you know, notes and stuff, because if we were just like, oh yeah, it's fantastic, then we're not gonna learn, yeah. we're not gonna improve our films. Yeah. Um, you have to be honest, but we have that great partnership where we can be honest and we have the understanding, you know, and we, and we creatively just, you know, and in person as well, but we just creatively gel together and get on, which I think is important to make the best stuff, so, yeah. Final question, what are you working on next? Ooh, 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 tease, tease. <laughs> uh, so, 
going forward, we want to focus on much bigger things than what we have currently been working on. Yeah. Uh, so our plan is to, the next film we're going to make is a feature film. Yeah. Okay, but we've made one and now we feel like it's time to make another one and hopefully stick on the feature film path. Yeah, 100%. Um, we're, yeah. We've kind of been in the process at the moment. We've kind of been pitching and having meetings with certain people in the industry. And, and it's, um, it's a case of, you know, not knowing what's going to happen, what's, what's going to go forward, what's not going to go forward, what's going to get green lit, what's not going to get green lit as it can be. And that's another um, thing that, yeah, that's sort of track, like, when before with our short films and very early with our short films, a lot of it was sort of just do what we want. Yeah. But going forward, we are now trying to think about what sells, and yeah. what, what people want to see and what distribution companies and that want to see. Yeah. Rather than like our first film alone, like, even though we love it, mm. it would never really be seen by, like, no distribution company would really be interested in it. Yeah. Because it's very different. It doesn't, yeah, it wasn't marketable, really, that film. Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't marketable. I think that's where we went wrong, and we learned a lot from that, but it wasn't really a marketable movie. I think the way the industry is, it's like you have to, sometimes you've got to fit into certain boxes, and then you can get progress. If, if, yeah. you, if you try and bring something too new to the table, People in the industry go, well, this is too new. We don't know where to put it. Who's who's this going to appeal to? Whereas if you have like an actual genre that's sellable or marketable, then they, they you, it's easier to progress. Yeah. So we've been definitely approaching our future projects in a whole different way, you know. And um, yeah, just trying to do something that fits a certain mould. Um, so yeah, it's it's exciting. Really. And it's exciting. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we broke two scripts recently. Spoke to people, and hopefully, very soon, we can yeah. seal a deal to actually make the two films. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, cause, oh, yeah, just hopefully we can. Yeah, good <laughs> luck. Look forward to you uh, being on the festival. Thank you. Future. Thank yeah, you very we're much. Hope, we're hoping to uh, uh, bring them both to hopefully the horror fest oh, festival yeah. and the. Uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Dan and Lewis, thank you so much. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.